Some people might think I'm crazy, but I just booked this flight a couple hours ago. Do you think it's too soon if I leave tonight? No. Last time I was so tired that I nearly forgot my wallet. Buying premium economy hasn't worked out so well lately. Stupid airline that lost my luggage, which I still don't have. Give me a second drink when I asked for one, the little one actually laughed at me. I've previously done reviews Virgin Atlantic upper class, Virgin Atlantic economy, but I've never done their premium. Can a last minute booking deliver a premium experience? I have to say I'm really impressed. I managed to get 30 minutes of sleep of that. A warm, friendly experience you don't always get from the U.S. airlines. Join me as I explore whether Virgin Atlantic's premium cabin is worth the premium price. Hello friends, well tonight I'm back at the newly improved international terminal at Boston's Logan International Airport. I'm going to be completing the Virgin Atlantic trifecta. So I've previously done reviews Virgin Atlantic upper class, Virgin Atlantic economy, but I've never done their premium. This is part of my new upcoming course on points and miles, love those points, but we've got a great deal on this flight, so come on for the ride. All right, so this should be a lot of fun. I have yet to do Virgin Atlantic in the premium cabin. Virgin Atlantic was the first airline to introduce premium economy way back in 1992 when they rolled out a new cabin called Mid-Class. Many companies were downgrading employees from business to save money, and Virgin saw the opportunity to capture more revenue with this new product, offering additional room and better amenities than economy. We're off to a really great start. The service at check-in was phenomenal, and uh, definitely a warm, friendly experience you don't always get from the U.S. airlines. Short hop across the pond of just about six hours and change tonight, so probably not going to get much sleep. The last time I was so tired when we arrived that I nearly forgot my wallet and uh, was the last person off the plane, so hopefully we're not going to repeat that. Uh, do you have lounge access? with priority pass not through the premium class you typically don't get any sort of uh, lounge access with premium economy however um, I don't have much time so probably just gonna head to the gate and kill about 15 minutes and grab some water before I get on board some people might think I'm crazy but I just booked this flight a couple hours ago and then I booked a hotel for two nights I booked a rental car and that's it we're just gonna wing it so beauty of traveling with points and miles is you can go anywhere you want whenever you want at it again. Here we go. Boston back to London. Virgin Atlantic in premium economy. It should be a great flight. Okay, this is my seat right here. 25 Delta. Welcome aboard the Virgin Atlantic Airbus A330 in premium economy. I have to say I'm really impressed. I know this isn't the newest product, but it's very spacious and it's probably one of the sleekest that I've been in. So we're looking forward to this flight. It should be a lot of fun. We do have a couple of goodies here. We've got a blanket and some chintzy headphones, which I probably will not be using because I have my own. Kind of like an economy class pillow, if I'm being honest. And then there's a menu. Feel free to pause here to have a good look at the food and beverage options. We were offered a choice of sparkling wine or water before takeoff. The seatbelt has a thick airbag in it, not my favorite feature, but you can control your own air vents and it never got too warm. I was also handed a goodie bag that we'll check out later. Must be my lucky day, I've got an entire row to myself and the seat on the end is actually disabled, so I think that helped me out here, but it'd be nice to have a little extra room to spread out. The safety video has so many bad American accents, it's hilarious. We're delighted to welcome you on board Virgin Atlantic. Push the two ends together until they click. Put them under the seat in front of you. Now. Welcome to the sky on board the Virgin Atlantic A330 aircraft. I'd have to say that this is very comfortable. It's probably the best premium economy that I've tried so far. So really looking forward to the meal service coming up. We've got just six hours and ten minutes until we get to London. So. It's gonna be a very fast flight, even faster than it took us to get out to LA a couple weeks ago. So uh, I'm gonna try and make the most out of it and um, hopefully we have a great meal coming. The IFE didn't have the best selection or the biggest screen and the headphone jack didn't work great, but there was still plenty of great entertainment to choose from. Kick around with a little whiskey to start off the flight, cheers. Inside the cardboard goodie bag, you'll find a face mask, earplugs, wooden toothbrush and toothpaste, and a cardboard pen, all made from sustainable materials. The meal was served on a single tray as you would expect on premium economy. I had a Caesar salad with asparagus and tomatoes added. 
The main was salmon with more asparagus, and it was really good, along with some cheese and crackers and a small piece of cake. Live to Sam, loving the flights so far. The meal is looking fantastic. Can't wait to dig into this. The quality of the service, the quality of the food is definitely better than what I've experienced in business class with a U.S. carrier recently. So um, really impressed with everything so far. I like that they make it a little bit more of an event than your typical flight. I ate nearly everything. It was quite full until well after we landed. Wi-Fi was available from seven pounds for one hour up to 21 pounds for the whole flight with a messaging pass for three pounds 49. Quick little review before I try and sleep. You'll see the mood lighting continues here for a relaxing environment to do your business. The loo is relatively spacious and had lotion and soap available. You also find a rare in-flight magazine in your seat along with a duty-free catalog. Looks like we only have about 45 minutes left on the flight. I managed to get, I don't know, 30 minutes of sleep of that. So hopefully I'm gonna catch a quick nap once I get to the hotel, but that's pretty common for me for these overnight flights. Nonetheless, everything's been really comfortable. Really grateful to have the whole row to myself. It's a little bit of extra room to spread out with. And unfortunately I didn't save an appetite for breakfast, so I missed out on that. But we had a really big dinner about three and a half hours ago, so that's gonna have to hold me over for now. Everything has been really awesome. If I have to complain about anything, the headphone jack was a little wonky, so I had to mess around with that a little bit. The pillow could be better. It's like an economy class pillow, but nonetheless, uh, everything else definitely exceeded expectations. There's also USB and some obsolete connections available here below the screen. And the headrest was adjustable with plenty of support. Well, as is often the case landing in Heathrow, we've got a little bonus time in the air. We're doing a few circles and a holding pattern, but I think we'll still make it on time. We we're coming in pretty early this morning, so it was a very quick six hour, 10 minute flight. I think it's gonna be closer to six and a half now. I booked this flight just a few hours before with 17,500 Virgin miles and about $418 in taxes and fees. I transferred points from Amex during a 30% bonus, so it was actually only 14,000 points. And considering the cash price was $1,259, I saved $841 with 14,000 points, which is a value of six cents per point instead of the typical one cent per point that you typically get with credit cards. And you can save even more with Virgin Atlantic using Rakuten. Look for my sign up link below. Be sure to pre-register for my free course at lovethosepoints.com. Thank you very much. There we have it. That was Virgin Atlantic in premium economy all the way from Boston to London. Nice quick flight. Maybe we'll go home upper class. I haven't made up my mind yet, but I'm really tempted. I recently launched YouTube memberships and a Patreon page with enhanced perks. Thank you to our first members. Your support helps me create more content like this. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you could help me out by hitting that like button. I've also got a lot of other great Virgin content. We've got some Virgin Voyages cruises, and we've done Virgin Atlantic and economy and upper class as well. So I'm gonna link all those videos below.